Welcome back to Neetha's Indulgences. With school year just around the corner, parents must be wondering what to pack for their kids for snacks and lunches. I am here to help you all with my new YouTube series dedicated to school snack and lunch ideas. Join me for easy recipes, helpful tips and stress-free lunch packing. So what are we waiting for? Let's crack on with it. So our first dish is creamy chicken sandwich. This is the perfect balance of creamy richness and succulent chicken flavour. A small tip for all the mothers, so what you can do is you can make this creamy chicken the previous night and the next day morning you can assemble this. So it makes your life much more easier. Let's add dollop of butter. Roughly about 2 teaspoons of minced garlic. Make sure you don't burn it. Add in 2 sliced onions. Saute this onion till it turns light golden in colour. At this point, I am going to add 300 grams of chicken pieces. So I have used chicken thighs here. You can use chicken breast or any other pieces. While the chicken is cooking, I am going to add a tablespoon of the tomato paste. I am going to add a teaspoon of chilli powder. You can use Kashmiri chilli powder. Add salt. Give it a good stir. If you are cooking chicken breast and thighs, uh, the cooking time is very less. So, uh, let's say it takes about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So maybe lesser than that as well. Add half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder. Chicken is almost cooked now. I think it took me around uh, 7 to 8 minutes. Now we are going to add a tablespoon of the tomato ketchup and roughly about one and a half tablespoon of mayonnaise. After putting the mayonnaise, I mixed it up and switched off the flame. Now there is one more step to go, which is sautéing the cabbage. So I'm going to take up another pan for that and then we close it. Let's start with the sautéing of cabbage now. Add a tablespoon of olive oil. Let's sauté the cabbage lightly now. So the cabbage also you can sauté and keep it in the fridge the previous night. Add a pinch of salt. Okay, I think this is done. You don't need to saute it any further. Let it sit in the pan for 5 minutes. It's going to cook further. Let's make a sauce for this sandwich. So take roughly about 2 tablespoons of mayo. I'm adding in a teaspoon of sriracha sauce. You can use tomato sauce if you like. Let's stir this up. We are going to assemble the creamy chicken sandwich. I'm going to cut open the roll now. Let's spread the sauce now. Let's add the sautéed cabbage. Add the filling. Oof, look at this, so juicy. Now I'm going to place a cheese slice. I am using mozzarella cheese. Look at that. This looks so filling. Our second dish is banana Nutella pancakes. This simple pancake is sure to be a hit with both kids and adults. Let's start with peeling the bananas. Let's start with the mashing of the bananas. I love this. It's a stress buster for me. Let's crack open one egg. Add a little bit of Nutella. If you have Nutella, you can use them. Otherwise, you can just completely skip this. Add a pinch of salt, just to balance the flavours. Mm. 
Let's add some butter. Start with the first one. Make mini pancakes to prevent them from breaking. There is a possibility of breakage while you're making these pancakes. Do not worry, I have the best solution for you. Just add a tablespoon of maida to this mixture and make the pancakes. I avoided maida because I don't want uh, maida for my kid. Hence, I suggest you to make without maida if possible. Our delicious lunch box is ready. So what's the verdict? It's really tasty, it's awesome. Mm. As we come to the end of this video, I hope you've enjoyed these lunch ideas. Whether it's the creamy chicken roll or the banana pancakes, don't forget to add your twist. Thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.